All right, here we have a uh, Chevy Vortec 350 head uh, that has been modified in order to take these ARP thread-in studs. Uh, in order to make these work, originally these were push-in studs in here, and uh, we had to machine these down 320 thousandths, so uh, 0 0.320. Uh, we took off of that in order to give clearance for the base of this stud because originally this had push-in studs these were taller with no threads in it and you didn't need any extra clearance between the uh, bottom of your rocker and the block because there was nothing there now you've got this head of the bolt or the head of the stud that threads in there that takes up a bit of room you gotta get rid of that cast iron take that out I've seen specs on these everywhere from uh, uh, 0 .30 to 0 .40, somewhere in the 3.7 range seems to be standard, uh, 3.4 to 3.7 let's say. I only took 3.2 out of it because I'm not putting a, uh, a guide in here for these push rods. This set of uh, rockers failed me miserably uh, when they were on the push-in uh, push studs. So it destroyed several of these rockers. So when I ordered new rockers, I got ones with an actual guide on the tip of them here that will hold them centered on the valves. And so I don't need the guide plates. Unfortunately, this was an engine I had built by somebody else, and uh, they failed to put the guide plates on here and failed to clearance the heads properly. So it busted a couple of the uh, push-in studs, so I had to pull the heads in order to remachine them. But uh, these measurements are something that seems to be lacking out there, like I say, for my purposes, uh, 3.32 worked well. Ultimately what you want to do is put a micrometer on here and see how high this flange is up until the taper. So what you want to take off of the cast iron is whatever that height is from the bottom of this flange to where this taper stops on the stud because you don't want the uh, edges here of the rocker arm dragging on that when the rocker arm is in place. So if we look at this, when we uh, dive down here so you can see the angle, I've got a good eighth inch of extra space there. Um, so I've got plenty of clearance for what I'm doing. If I did put the guide plates in there, I've still got room for them. Um, you know, you'd want at least a sixteenth inch, I'd say, of give in there. But always check this clearance. Uh, I failed to do so when I set these heads up originally. I had read some stuff on the internet. It said you could just tap the stock heads. So I pulled the heads off. I tapped them. I put the studs on. I reassembled this. Had everything bolted together. Exhaust in place. Then I went to set my valves and put the rocker arms on and realized uh, nothing fit because these bosses hadn't been machined down. So I had to pull the heads and remachine them in order to get this correct. So don't trust the internet. The internet does not know everything and the information is only partially there. I've been a garage mechanic for 30 years and I missed this step because I've never done one with the aftermarket uh, roller rockers. All the ones that I've done in the past that had roller rockers came that way from the factory or had already been set up. So... Uh, this particular project has been a pain in my butt. I just wanted to try and get some of this information out there for people. Make sure once you've done your machining and got everything modified and put all your pieces on, don't torque your head down. Set the head onto the alignment pins, put one or two bolts in it, snug them so that the head doesn't move and so it's sitting in place, and then stage at least one or two of your rockers in place and make sure that you've got the clearances you need. Because if you torque those heads down, not only are you out the time, but you're out the set of head gaskets. Which on this engine aren't bad, they're 20 bucks a piece, but hey, it's still money, why waste it? Takes you three minutes, stage everything up, make sure everything has the clearances you need. And if it doesn't, hey, you're out two minutes to uh, pull the head back off and walk back to the mill and set everything up and clearance it again. But uh, get your clearances, double check everything. These are two steps that I uh, failed to do and it cost me a few hours and a few bucks. So just wanted to get the information out there. Hope you guys have a good time. If you're curious, this is the project that this particular engine is in. This thing is supposed to be a uh, 400 plus horsepower Vortec built to turn 9,000 RPM. 
I haven't managed to get that out of it because the damn thing fell apart before I hit 4,500 RPM with it. So my builder didn't do real well. I'm trying to fix that problem. But uh, this little buggy is uh, four-wheel drive, uh, 400 and some horsepower. And uh, as you can see, she sits stock height. So uh, once I get more than 200 miles on it, hopefully it will be a fun toy to uh, go and rip around with. So... Hope to see you out there, and uh, maybe we'll be in a cloud of smoke somewhere together. Hopefully not on fire.